On Tomorrow's World Today, we explore the cutting-edge advances that are shaping four different worlds. The world of inspiration, where the wonders of the natural world amaze and inspire us. The world of creation, where ideas come to life from traditional arts. The world of innovation, where ideas and inventions move us all forward. The world of production, where innovations are mass-produced to improve our lives. From Inventionland World Headquarters, here's your host, George Davison. In many industries, it's only the wealthy who can afford the new technologies. For example, when the automotive industry was created, it was just the rich people driving around in their cars until Henry Ford created the affordable car for everyone. Now, fast forward to the early days of the internet. It was only those big players that could afford the luxury of going digital. But as technology evolved and the internet became more and more accessible, the game changed. Suddenly, there was a new era that dawned for small businesses, and it opened up a world of possibilities in the digital realm. Today, we're in a digital landscape, and it's teeming with possibilities. You see, small businesses have been embracing the power of digital marketing, and they're using templates to create websites, social media posts, and other online channels so they can connect with customers, drive sales, and even build brand awareness like never before. But now, it's no longer a luxury. It's a necessity for success. Despite the prevalence of digital marketing though, around 46% of the small businesses in the United States still don't have a website. So today, you can start with a blank screen and with just basic information about your business, generative AI platforms will work with you hand in hand to create a professional website, manage your digital marketing campaigns, and even expand your reach online. So I'm gonna send Greg to the world of innovation in Seattle, Washington, to explore how one company is empowering these small businesses to thrive in today's digital world. Small businesses are everywhere, and they're all vying for your attention. There are over 6 million of them in the U.S. alone, but believe it or not, only 64% have websites. Now, as we move ahead into an increasingly digital world, having a strong online presence is more important than ever, and that's why we're here at GoDaddy in Kirkland, Washington, to meet with the experts and explore how they're creating customized solutions and user-friendly platforms that will help entrepreneurs enhance their digital footprint today and in tomorrow's world. Let's head inside and talk to Gaurav Pani. He is the president of U.S. Independence for GoDaddy. Gaurav. Craig, great to meet you. Great to meet you too. So Gaurav, tell me a little bit about the history of GoDaddy. Since 1997, we've been helping our customers get online. At the beginning of the internet, which is where you were starting, uh, getting online, getting a domain name, it was a really difficult thing to do. Yes, solving that hard problem of simplifying for others is where we found our space. So basically, you're helping people now do what you did. GoDaddy started as a very small business, and, and now look at you. It is so amazing to watch our customers thrive every day. Do you think that that web presence is as important now as it was back then? With customer expectations being one where they want to see everything immediately, being available online and offline is vital to small businesses. Excellent. Well, I, I can't wait to learn more. So uh, what's next? Next, you get to meet Laka Sriram, a vice president of artificial intelligence. He's going to tell you what we are up to. Lead the way. Hey, Laka. Hey, Greg. Nice to meet you. Great to meet you, too. So, Laka, artificial intelligence, or machine intelligence as a concept, has been around since the 50s. Mm -hmm. And what a lot of people may not realize is we've been using forms of artificial intelligence for quite a while now. I mean, every time you type a phrase into a search engine, you're using a version of artificial intelligence. But generative AI is a different animal. It's, it's a leap forward. Tell me about the difference. You're right. AI has been there for decades now. And we actually use it in several aspects of our lives, starting in automobiles and video games and search engines and so on and so forth, right? But generative AI is this new field within AI which focuses on building new content. It gets trained on large language models which are based on uh, huge data sets. 
but it takes all of those data sets, it uses examples and identifies patterns and builds brand new content that's novel and that's not part of its training set at all. So it's not just a, a clearinghouse for data that already exists. It's not just making a recommendation. It's really creating something brand new. 100%. It creates brand new based on, it takes in some of the cues from the user. Like at the beginning, the user can navigate and guide it in certain direction, but it uses its training data and it builds brand new text, image, videos, software code even that wasn't part of its training set at all. Wow, so this kind of leads us right into uh, what Arrow is. Mm -hmm. So when GoDaddy was uh, building Arrow, you used generative AI to put together a platform that would bring generative AI to someone like me. We've used all the advancements that have been happening in generative AI across the tech industry, plus the experience that we at GoDaddy have had for the last 20 plus years, like working with smaller micro business owners. So we've combined those two together and we built this brand new experience and platform layer even that helps every single small business owner with setting up their identity and presence from scratch till the end. Everything is set up right off the bat and it's ready for them to use. I'd love to see that in action. Can I get a demonstration? 100%. We should go meet with Nikki Hebner, one of our designers of Aero, and she can walk you through the end-to-end -end demo of what actually Aero is. And she's right that way.